fuck? David, that was hilarious. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, welcome back. As you can see, we're trying something a little new here. And all the bugs aren't worked out yet, so... We'll see how it goes. Um, today we're going to watch House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 6. The print, what's it called? The Princess and the Queen. I'm super excited for this episode for because the... I heard, somebody told me last night, which is, I guess, a spoiler, but that they changed some of the actors. And I've noticed, you know, I've seen some thumbnails with Rhaenyra older. I'm assuming it's got to be Rhaenyra older. And, yeah, I kind of suspected they, they either did a crazy makeup job on her or changed the actress. And I heard that that happens now. So that's just a little spoiler I got. But also because the drama in the has just been escalating a lot. The last episode was when um, Kristen Cole uh, beat the shit out of um, Lenore's boyfriend. I don't remember his name, but that guy kind of went up and said, you know, told him. I know that you're screwing Rhaenyra, and I'm with what's his name. You can just lay more, and you can just keep our mouths shut, you know. And he was all ha already having kind of like an internal struggle over it, and he beat him up. But then, at the very end, he was about to commit suicide, so the Harry carry himself, and uh, Allison showed up, and she, you know, we don't know what happened, but. I've been tripping out more and more on Allison's character as I edit these videos and I watch the shows a lot closer. I just want to say, you know, she's kind of understated in terms of the action, you know. But her, there's like a depth to her character that's, um, you know, really, but you're, but you're not really handed exactly what's going on. Seems to me she just, there was some ambition to become the queen. She's also just sort of doing what she's kind of, I don't know, it's very difficult to tell. You know, she just sort of wants everything to go right, I think. You know, kind of cliche right. She doesn't want bumps, bumps being made. She doesn't want, I think more so than being real moral herself, uh, she just kind of wants things to go smoothly or something. Anyway, I've got a feeling that like, something's gonna happen with her she's gonna go crazy or something but anyway let's uh watch i'm super dying to watch um anything else i don't know let's just see okay hopefully this little green screen gig you can tell it's kind of faulty but it still looks sort of cool and i'm trying to make myself not look too ghosty or see-through can you see through me little bit probably anyway let's go for it the boy princess Brave mother. the queen has requested that the child be brought to her immediately why does the queen want to see the baby where are you going she wants to see him now what is it? What is it? What is it? Fuck. What is it? I just had a baby five minutes ago. <sighs> Holy fuck, this is hurting my vagina. Does the babe have a name yet? Well, we haven't spoken. Joffrey. No, I don't name him Joffrey. I do believe he has his father's nose. Allison's like, this is the one we're going to kill. Can't wait to kill this baby so that it doesn't take over the throne from my son. Do keep trying, Selena. Sooner or later, you may get one who looks like you. Oh. Damn. Think to consult me before you name my child. He's our child, is he not? Uh, no. 
So the implication is that Rhaenyra is getting pregnant by other people. I mean, Lenor is gay. Night eye. So Harwin wishes to be introduced to Joffrey. Of course. And I'll sleep in front of the commander of the city watch. Terrible lack of respect. A certain insolence runs in the family, I'm afraid. Probably make pets out of them. I guess we're seeing that now. Oh, a fucking demon looking. Dracardis Vermax. Eamon, we have a surprise for you. What is it? We found one for you. A dragon. How? The gods provide. Behold, <laughs> the pink dread. <laughs> Be sure to mount her carefully. First flight's always rough. <laughs> Pink dread. Is he like scared of dragons and they make fun of him for it? Go in there. Go in there, dude. I want to see what's in there. Guess he's not scared of them. Your obsession with those beasts goes beyond understanding. They gave me a pig! For what? They said they found a dragon for me. But it was a pig. You will have a dragon one day. Your grandsons are a menace. They are more children than he is. Are you sure it wasn't our egg on that put them up to it? To have one child like that is a mistake. To have three is an insult. Not to mention decency itself. The consequences of an allegation like the one you toy had would be dire. The Princess Rhaenyra is brazen and relentless. A spider who stings and sucks her prey dry. Oh, wow. Spoiled cunt. Wow. Kristen. Still angry? I have to believe that in the end, honor and decency will prevail. <laughs> is that the window that Tommen jumped out of? I believe it is. Whose idea was it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just jacking off in the wind. Renew will ascend the throne, and Jocera's Targaryen will be her heir. So? Oh, you are nearly a man grown. How is it that you can be so short sighted? If Rhaenyra comes into power, your very life could be forfeit. Oh, wow. I like this. She can move to cut off any challenge to her succession. You are the challenge! You are the challenge, Egon! Ooh. Simply by living and breathing! Okay. Now we're seeing. One day you will be our king. He's kind of wimpy, though. Mom just busted him jacking off. I always thought, I suspected Egon was going to be like a badass who, who wanted the throne. Damn. Look how big that is. This episode's a trip so far. The tenants would pay their tributes annually to their new Targaryen lord. Continue. Your family has dragons. My aim is to protect Pentos from the lustful eye of the Triarchy. Aid Pentos in this, as Aegon once did. He likes the sound of that. <clears throat> it's the most generous offer. And one we will certainly entertain. Can't remember, is Pentos in Essos? are using us it's refreshing isn't it a simple transaction we have dragons they have gold we are more than this Damon. we are not minstrels or mummers who play at the pleasure of an alien prince we are the blood of old valeria at my end i want to die a dragon rider's death not that of some fat country lord lads have learned together trained together I've... you'll certainly form a lifelong bond wouldn't you agree that is the hope, Your Grace. I've won my first bout, Sir Christian. My opponent sues for mercy. Uh, you'll have a new opponent then, my Lord of the Straw. Let's see if you can touch me. Touch him. Humiliate the princess. Seems the younger boys could do better with a bit of your attention, Sir Christian. I question my method of instruction, sir. Well, I merely suggest that method be applied to all your pupils. 
Very well. Oh, he doesn't want to help her kids. You spar with that gun. <laughs> eldest son against eldest son. It's hardly a fair match. I know you've never seen true battle style, but when steel is drawn, a fair match isn't something anyone should expect. Oh, shit. I'll deal with him. Mm, I wonder if something bad's gonna happen. Use your feet! Don't let him get up. Stay on the attack! Enough! You dare to hands on me! They're gone! You forget yourself, Strong. That is the prince. This is what you teach, Cole. Cruelty. Wow. Your interest in the princing's training is quite unusual, Commander. Most men would only have that kind of devotion toward a cousin. Oh, shit. Or a son. Or a son. Kristen's turned into quite a dickhead. I mean, I don't know why who's why I'm on anyone's side. I like Rhaenyra and her loose morals, I guess. I relate to loose morals. Your intimacy with the Princess Rhaenyra is an offense that would mean exile and death. For you, for her, for the children. It is rumor. Only people have eyes, boy. So that's him and his father. War. Is a foot again in the stepstones, Rhaenyra. After all this time, this is just what I need. A little adventure to be back at sea. Are you mad? <laughs> Do you know what's happened? Where well, you've been guzzling all the ale in Fleabottom. God to know what besides. Come. They are our sons. Yours and mine. Mm hmm and their true father will not abandon them now to go carousing through the narrow sea, waggling his sword and winking at his sailors. I am a knight. I have played my part here. Faithfully. He's over it. For ten years, you have indulged yourself at court. Fuck the lustiest boys. This was our agreement. I have not begrudged you. But... You do not desert your post when the storm lashes. The wise sailor flees the storm as it gathers. Mm. You are commanded to remain in King's Landing and at my side. Well, he looked like he accepted that. What? Hatch. Hatch. <laughs> There is more than one way to bind yourself to a dragon. I was without one until I was 15 years old. And now I ride a Vagar, the largest in the world. Rhaenyra has delivered another son. Does your brother mention if this one also bears a marked but entirely coincidental resemblance to the commander of the <laughs> He seems to have left that detail out. <clears throat> Fuck. David, that was hilarious. You laud the virtues of Pentos, but you have no interest in it. If you did, you would venture into the city, but instead you spend your time here, in the library, reading accounts of the same dead dragon lords whose legacy you claim has no hold on you. Didn't know I was being so minutely observed. The man I married was more than this. That's interesting. We are one house. And... Long before that, we were friends. My son, Jocerus, will inherit the Iron Throne after me. I propose we betroth him to your daughter, Helena. Let them rule together. A most judicious proposition. The King and I thank you for your offer, and we will consider it duly. You must rest now, husband. How sweetly the fox speaks when it's been cornered by the hound. She is sincere. She is desperate. Mm. Should she expect us to ignore her transgressions and for me to marry my only daughter to one of her plain featured sons. Alison has certainly emerged. Some of her motivations have come out more than they had. She's also become much more badass. I have come to resign my position as Hand of the King. What? 
The episode in the yard this morning. My son, Halrim, has disgraced himself. But he's been expelled from the city. Watch, that seems punishment enough. But there is a shadow over my house, and it grows ever darker. I can no longer serve you with integrity. What is this shadow? My son's been banging Renera. Yes. You must have your reasoning in place. Yes, she wants language. to hear. Uh oh. My son's been fucking your daughter. I cannot. Then I cannot accept this. My dear husband. I said no. I would then ask leave to take my son from court and escort him back to the family seat at Harrenhal. Do it. Okay. She doesn't like this. She does. She gonna tell him? She gonna help me? Wow. I feel like she suppresses a lot, you know? It's just like... Dying to come out. Look. She's freaking out. This guy. It's been my duty to tell you of happenings about the castle, but tonight you know, and I do not. King of Mulliens and my father. He attempted to resign his post. Not for as much. Interesting, you said attempted. My lord husband refused to accept. Then he fell short of confessing my brother's transgression. Did you expect the king to doom his dear daughter to exile, or? Lord Lionel is to escort Sir Harwin back to Harren Hall to watch over his seat whilst he continues to serve his hand. My father cannot give unbiased counsel to the king. It is now that I must rue the absence of my own father. He wouldn't hesitate to speak the truth to the king if Otto Hightower was still at hand. You cannot say, my oh. queen, that your father would be impartial in this matter. No, but he would be partial to me. In all of King's Landing is in no one to take my side. Laris must be Harwin's brother, then, I'm guessing, right? Because they both are the sons of the Hand of the King. For your crimes, you've been sentenced to death by hanging. What do you want, my lord? I am prepared to offer you mercy. If you're prepared to pay a little price. <laughs> Holy shit. So they all got their tongues cut off. He would let them live. What a choice to make. Push now, my lady! The child will not come. We could lay open the wound. Try to remove the infant by way of the blade. Would the mother survive it? No. We all know that. What's going on? She gonna Dracarys herself? They come. Dracarys! Dracarys! Lena! Suicide by Dragon. Damn. Whoa. That was intense. I will return. I will return. I'll come back for the honey. Well, so I guess we get the gist. He's the father of at least one of those kids, if not all of them. Kristen Cole's turned into like a self righteous prick. A lot and become, you know, one of Allison's little toadies. Is Harlan Strong my father? Oh. Am I a bastard? You are a Targaryen. That's what that is. Uh, that was kind of a yes. A what? I'm out here playing with the boys. We're finished here. We're leaving. I have been undermined. I made a spectacle. They 
whisper about me in the corridor as well. I leave them to it. To Dragonstone, then? I should have left years ago. You've always said if you were absent from court, she would pour her honey in your father's ear. Yeah. The wise sailor flees the storm as it gathers. <laughs> That's what you said. Who are they? What's going on? Come on. Oh, the bug pin? What does that mean? Am I supposed to know what that means? So somebody killed Harwin? Who would that have been? Allison sent them? A folly. You know what? Damon will come back now and hook up with her. And they'll live at Dragonstone and challenge the throne. Her dad. You've heard the stories of Harrenhal, Your Grace. It is said to be a cursed place. You. You passed judgment. The queen makes a wish. What servant of the realm would not strive to fulfill it? I did not wish for this. I feel certain you will reward me. When the time is right. Laris. It's not going to be the end. <sighs> Shit. Unreal. I love that we jumped ahead a bunch of time and I like the new actors, although I did really like the woman that played um, Rhaenyra before, but I like all the new actors too, But um, and Allison, but these, they're all good now, but, <clears throat> but man, what the hell, yeah, so I predict that Damon gonna come back meet Rhaenyra at Dragonstone hook up with Rhaenyra and then they'll challenge the throne Allison is like um, stripping out tripping out all the time she always had a had like a uh, very worried look on her face like throughout the whole episode exasperated at her wits end um was there is the same as he always was kind of like <coughs> you know he seems like he's making good judgments and he seems like a wise kind of guy but then again at the other on the other hand he's kind of like oblivious to all this drama that's going on around him he sort of thinks it's handled thinks he says something and it's handled but he doesn't realize it's all just still you know boiling like a cauldron of insanity all around him and he's kind of like yes, well. yeah he's sort of a, not into all the trickery and deceit and maneuvering that everyone's doing because he's I guess because he's the king and it's all happening sort of behind his back it's very interesting and everybody else is super concerned about it and he's kind of like oh it's all settled what a what a lovely offer Rhaenyra You'll marry, like, oblivious to the... Anyway, it's wild. It just keeps seeming like it's building towards something really intense and, and then not totally paying off. Oh, and the dragon stuff was really cool. That little dragon that came crawling out of the hole earlier was amazing. And oh, I forget what the name of that one that burned... Damon's wife. So, anyway, all that was great. I hope this new green screen thing works out a little better in the future, but I think it looks pretty okay. Looks pretty okay for now. All right, well, um, that's it. Let's get on to the next one. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Four more. And that's it. All right, see you next time.